I'm Chris Pearce, I'm uh, 32. I'm a lung cancer survivor, uh, a pelvic tumour survivor, and I'm competing at Pure Elite Bodybuilding Show in April this year. I had a lot of pain in my right leg, uh, and I lost a lot of mobility, and nobody could figure out what was wrong with me. So, yeah, it went for almost a decade, like, till I was in my late 20s, when I got sent to a doctor, or I went myself, doing a typical man. I didn't go until it was too late. Uh, and I had a series of scans on my back, uh, and it turned out I had a tumour the size of a grapefruit in the right side of my pelvis. And secondary to that, they also found a tumour in my left lung, uh, which was small, but it was uh, metastatic, which means it spreads. So that was also found at the same time. The way cancer is usually found in, in, in people, especially young people, is, is a series of tests it's called a biopsy. So what they do is they take a sample of your tumour via a local anaesthetic or general anaesthetic and then they send it to the labs and then they can kind of discover the cellular content of it, whether it's benign, which means it's just a mass and it's not cancerous, or whether it's malignant, uh, which means it is cancerous and it can spread. So the one I had in my pelvis, that was benign. It took quite a few tests to find that, but the one in my lung, they took it out in one go and that was a malignant cancer. And then they went back in a little while later and took out most of my left lung. To treat, to treat that so it wouldn't spread. Uh, the one in my pelvis was painful. It hurt a lot, a lot of pain in my leg, a lot of pain in my lower back. Uh, the one in my lung, I didn't actually have any symptoms, um, which is a surprise because you read about lung cancer and coughs and coughing up blood, but I had none of that. The lung cancer I had is, is called non, it's non small cell, so it's typically found in the airways and it's usually presented in either smokers or people in their 70s. So I was pretty unlucky with that, I think. So yeah, it was very unusual and I remain in like the 1% of that demographic. There's not many other people in this country who are my age who had lung cancer. When I first had the tumour, people thought I was pretty much finished because the, the size of that tumour, it, it looked like that was the end really. It was so big, you often, when you get something like that, you think it's the end. I had to have a lot of time out. Uh, first time, I lost about eight months through the pelvic tumour uh, and the surgery because it was a big surgery uh, that I had in Nottingham. So that was, it was deep, deep surgery right into my lower spine. So I lost a lot of mobility, so I needed about nine, ten months out of work, which it does affect things because after a while you end up on statutory sick pay <clears throat> and when you've got a mortgage, that's, that's not good. It's not enough money to survive on. My daughter was born uh, at the end, about yeah, 2013, the beginning of, so I just recovered from pelvic surgery. Uh, and then when she was not, she was like really young, not even a year, and I got sick again with abdominal uh, blockage. So I was in hospital for about two weeks there, and then she was still really young when I had lung cancer, so I missed out a lot. Uh, and I would, you know, I don't want her to know what I had wrong because I don't want her to worry that it could happen to her. It's not, it's not easy trying to raise a small family and, you know, provide for that family while you're poorly. It, it, it doesn't work. It doesn't work for me or for them. Being in shape definitely gives you a chance to get better quicker and you feel more motivated to get out and about and start running and eating properly and your body recovers quicker. I've been through so much negativity uh, with illnesses and cancers and tumours that doing something like this would not only like take me to the next level of my hobby, but also gives me a chance to, to go out and prove a point that uh, people who have cancer uh, can still achieve physically what other people can and that people shouldn't really be ashamed of scars they've got through surgery or illness or any of that. They can make a, make a difference and show everybody yeah, cancer isn't the uh, elephant in the room anymore that we can talk about it and we can do something about it.